So you can see this line of symmetry here. And of course you can guess that the next line of symmetry is going to be here, right? But there are also lines of symmetry within petals, but because you've got usually um, not even sized beads, seed beads come in different shapes and sizes, especially the vintage ones like these ones. So when you go within a petal, sometimes you don't end up with the symmetry that you would expect. So this petal over here, most petals have kind of like a heart shape. And usually you strive to have the same amount of beads on one side as the other, but it doesn't always work out that way because you are not a machine, you're a beater. So when you go on it, when you go like this, now you see that that heart that we're looking at right now has that perfect symmetry, right? Um, but the truth is, if you look at it, when you people first made CGI characters, um, there was something off about them. And what was off about them was that the computer made the faces com completely symmetrical. And when you do that, it spooks people. Um, humans are wired for symmet symmetrical faces because symmetrical faces tell us that a person is healthy generally. But when the faces are too symmetrical, we actually don't buy it. So this is a good example of where the beater couldn't quite make the symmetry work because they went a little wonky over here. They overfilled the bead here, right? So, and you'll see that as you get closer and closer to beadwork, it's less and less perfect. And that's fine because when you zoom out, it's gorgeous. And what you know is that it is handmade and hand making it and being able to hand make things is really important.